and welcome to I I Night, a safe space on the internet where I share my art, my chill gaming content, as well as things around the internet that I delight in, such as Goblin Core and Bloom Core. I'm your host, I I Night, and I welcome you to my cozy channel. And welcome to the very first how to video of 2023. So today's video is about how to make sticker sheets for Threadless. So Minty Glitch reached out with this question and I selected a couple of um, sticker designs that I currently have that were meant to be sticker sheets but um, didn't really turn out that way when I printed them out to try and see if I can achieve this effect with the information that Threadless has provided about how to create sticker sheets. After reaching out to Threadless directly, I did receive a direct comprehensive answer and at first I was considering just passing this information on directly. However, I did feel like it would probably be much better if I walked through the steps myself and tried the techniques that they are explaining in this email so that you can have a better understanding and a visual aid in order to make the stickers yourself especially since sometimes these things can be a little bit overwhelming so one of the big things about creating sticker sheets they explained was the spacing you need to have the specific amount of spacing in order to create the right effect so i actually divided um 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels with these specific spacings just so that I can confirm and see whether having the spacing in between each illustration really does create a desired effect. So I'm just going to fast forward and you can see how I did it for the different sizes and you can basically skip forward to the next chapter to see the final results. So this first organization is for the two inches page. The information provided is that you're supposed to allow for 40 pixels for a two by two. So I did try my best to allow for that, which is why you have all these slots. However, in hindsight, when you do look at the stickers later, I really do regret this and I wish that I put much fewer stickers on the sheet, maybe even only two, to really see whether or not it would be effective. Um, but in future, I don't even think I'm even going to put two. I do feel one is enough <laughs> as a sticker in order to actually get a good result. This next one is for three inch by three inch. And it's supposed to be um, 60 pixels in between. Though honestly, when I compared the 2x2 two two and 3x3, three three, it didn't really look like there was a huge size difference when I finally received them. In fact, I even forgot that there was supposed to be a size, dif a size difference. Okay, so I double checked and realized that I made a mistake with my order. I ordered two 2 inch stickers instead of a 2 inch, a 3 inch, a 4 inch, and a 6 inch. So I'm really sorry about that. I actually never got a chance to review the 3 inch. However, I do feel like it's probably going to be just as bad as the 4 inch was in terms of it becoming a sticker, which was like a sticker sheet, which was not, it was just one solid sticker. So I don't really think that the 3 inch would have been any better even. So okay <laughs> never mind let's just move on to the four inch now now here we are working with the sticker sheet for four by four the pixels are supposed to be 80 pixels in height i'm again not really convinced that these were a good choice and when the stickers finally arrived honestly it was just one flat sticker i was quite disappointed with that and so I'm really glad that I did try this myself. I'm really not sure what I'm doing wrong. Um, I did create those black lines and I did try to measure it by size. So I just imagine that perhaps it is actually much better to just make a sticker sheet out of the larger size because that was the only one that really produced 
uh, cut out stickers um, and perhaps the printer has a problem printing anything else. Now for the 6 inch, I really didn't put much effort. I simply decided to remove and move around two of the paintings. So it just ended up like that. Um, everything was very widely spaced. I didn't even try to do the 120 pixels, whatever. I just let it be and I was just like, okay, it should work. I mean, there's so much space. Hopefully it'll be enough space to create the desired effect. Because this was specifically to test the print of these stickers to make them into sticker sheets, I actually made completely new um, posts or listings of each and every one of the stickers and I proceeded to purchase them myself. So I actually spent quite a bit of money, my own little monies to purchase these stickers and although yes there is an artist discount i still spent 40 over dollars so i kind of really wanted to do my due diligence and have these stickers in hand so that i can really show you the reality of what you'll be getting if you do go ahead and make these stickers and so yeah this is the listing it's still live you can still purchase it for yourself and you can still get it and see what it looks like however for this listing i do not have it in a size um two or three or four anymore i really don't think that they become sticker sheets in a way that is what you want and so, yeah, as I said, I really did try my best to follow exactly what they said in this web page. So yeah, this is the one that is just full design. It looks really sad when you look at it like this, actually. Um, but these ones in particular really come as individual stickers, which... I was actually pleased with so spoiler alert this this is the size that you should be creating if you want sticker sheets with that few stickers in the design hi okay so this is part three the very last part of this video um the stickers finally arrived and let me show you the stickers that arrived i'm actually quite surprised <laughs> okay so um first the the envelope actually came wet which shocked me a lot um it's been a few days i just let it dry and i really wanted to see what would happen if i ordered every single size that i offer on the shop to kind of figure out what is the best most recommended size possible so if you are going to make sticker sheets for yourself and you have decided to follow what they say and do the 2,000 two, two, two by 2,000 pixels, this is the size for the smallest cut. It's really quite small. Like each sticker is so minuscule. It's so tiny. And um, the detail is very fuzzy would not recommend you print a sticker sheet this small because uh, it's not worth it. Plus it comes off as one lump sticker as you can kind of see. It is one entire piece. So it is definitely not what you would consider a sticker sheet. So this is an absolute fail. Consider the medium. Again, you can clearly see that I have created gaps between each of the designs right um i really tried my best to make sure that it was standard based on what they recommended however um this is again one sheet of course i will individually cut out each of these stickers however obviously that is not what you want 
to do. You, d you don't want to have to do that. You want to be able to just peel them off and use them immediately. So this is definitely not a sticker sheet at all. Um, this is just one lump piece. But another thing you need to take note of, um, sorry, this is editing I add here, is that the quality of the illustrations will not be good because um, when I uploaded these pieces, I was uploading them as a PNG. So if you compare it to the original painting, you can see how much detail there is in the original painting and the stickers are very blurry. Now this is because 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels, even at 350 dpi, is still going to be quite fuzzy if it's not vectored. And so I kind of felt like the overall quality of the stickers themselves was reduced in quality. And had I just sold one individual sticker, I'm sure the quality would have been much better. So for that reason, do also take note that if you are going to try to make sticker sheets, it would be best if you save your files at that size, 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels, but make it a vector image. You can use software such as Inkscape, um, Illustrator, and various other programs in order to maintain the, um, the quality of the illustration. Yeah, okay, so back to me. So let's say this one, for example. I mean, I don't really care if I spoil it. I bought these for you guys, so let's go move this aside. There you go. So this is indeed an individual sticker by itself. And this sticker is pretty much the same size as this. Okay, so if you're buying this sticker thinking that you're gonna get some kind of sticker sheet despite what they have provided it's very much based on the size and this size does not equate to a sticker sheet even if you have all the gaps and everything um what equates to a sticker sheet and it's a good quality sticker sheet based on having the stickers individually spaced is the largest size and you really make sure you follow their guidelines and have that much space between each sticker then you're able to actually create a sticker sheet you have now reached the very end of the video thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end so i hope that this has been very informative for you especially if you're looking at making sticker sheets specifically on fretless and I do hope that you'll be able to make really awesome sticker sheets for yourself in your artist shop. I am not getting paid by Feathers to make this, um, but this was really made because Minty Witch wanted to know. And I'm really, really, really interested in supporting young artists or like artists in general, especially if you guys have questions. So feel free to ask me any more questions. Uh, if I can answer, I'll answer it to the best of my ability. This video, I suppose, is sponsored in a way by my own Etsy store. So the process of actually ordering my own stickers from Threadless has got me thinking about what other kind of stickers I can make. Stickers that you couldn't find on Threadless or Redbubble because they are not print-on-demand stickers. And so I have now started making my own holographic stickers. I've only made one type at the moment. It's going to be the hidden spellbook illustration. However, if you want to get a special hand cut sticker that I have actually packaged and tied up and sent to you with love, then I already have some craft stickers, which are the mushroom stickers, which, which you can see over here. Which you can see over here. These are my mushroom craft stickers. I hand cut each and every one of these and these are now available for sale for about $3.50 on the store. So I am looking to expand and add more designs to my store. And what will be really unique is that I'm looking at different materials and textures. Like these stickers are made from craft paper, so they're biodegradable and eco-friendly. And the other stickers I'll be making will be holographic with that nice holographic sheen. 
and synthetic where they're gonna be almost exactly the same size as my miniature paintings for sale. I also have some early stickers which are they have like this mother of pearl texture to them which is really interesting and I have them for my local cuisine series so if you want to get unique stickers that you can only get from my little store do check them out in my Etsy store link in the description below all right so thank you so much for reaching the end of this video um do let me know if you have any more questions I'm always happy to answer them and as always may your day be magical I'll see you in the next one Bye-bye!